What's up, YouTube? I'm Zephyr Sonic, and I'm coming to you guys with a, well, uh, pretty sad update for those of you guys that didn't want this to happen. You see, click here to try the new channel's design. All channels will be updated to the new design on March 7, 2012, which, as you see, is 7.30 p.m. Eastern time for me. And, uh, so, yeah, so that only leaves... And just about, like, what, uh, I don't know when they're gonna be doing it, um, I would, I am assuming at midnight Eastern, or probably midnight Pacific Standard Time, uh, so then that would, means that would be 3 a.m. for me, Eastern. Um, so, yeah, this is, wow, this is, uh, sad to see this old, cha we've, this old channel design, we've actually had since, um, 2009, which I've got this thing open about the YouTube channel's beta. This was when the 2.0 channels were in beta and, uh, people had the opportunity to test out the beta version of the 2.0, which, because I've been on YouTube since, uh, pretty much March 2005, which, uh, is r pretty much right around when YouTube just started out. And, uh, so yeah, so I was here whenever YouTube, uh, did this beta design of the 2.0, which is what we're currently on, not the beta, but you know what I mean, the 2.0. Um, and so, yeah, we were under the 1.0, which was the previous channel's design, and, um, we, like, we had, we didn't have our videos displaying, like, a right here along the side. We had basically, um, we had... Our profile, of course, right right around in here. Uh, we had a videos section um, right around in here. It would display the number of videos, and it would display like the title and the thumbnail, of course. And it would display ones like in threes or fours of each row, like three rows, I believe it was. And, uh, and so, yeah, you could have your videos displayed that way. Same with the favorites. You had a uh, you had a video favorites that would display right in here as well underneath it and uh, it would also display a counter and what videos you favorited in the rows of course of uh, three and so yeah that was the old channels design 1.0 you had the comments as well down below here which the channel comments it wasn't that much of a change of the channel comments between 1.0 and 2.0 a uh, bit of a design difference of course but not a whole lot um we got our modules for partners. We had this cool uh, branding box, you know, like you could link different things. Like I've got, I've linked like what I used to edit and record my videos with. And like uh, my capture card, I've linked my HD PVR, PVR Gaming Edition. So you see, so when you click on it, it'll take you to the site where I got the, um, the maker of the program or uh, thing that I'm using to record my videos with. And, uh, so yeah, this is really going to be a missed feature. For me, this is going to be a missed feature that the new channel's design does not have as a branding box. Um, you see all this good channel info, uh, you just side column image that's not going to be in the new design. You've got the, your recent activity, otherwise your bulletins, which, uh, Machinima favorited, uh, video. Well, I didn't favorite that. Uh, Machinima favorited that. Uh, that's the thing that Machinima does, that basically they help you out, um, but basically they will favorite videos themselves, um, that's, you know, to help support a series of theirs or somebody else's. Uh, so yeah, this is the whole featured video thing, um, man, this is, I'm really gonna miss this old channel design, I'm really gonna miss it, you're, uh, I've, I've named this box a box with people in it, that this box used to only be a partners only feature, and then YouTube made it to where you could put on any channel, uh, any channel could box people that were not a partner, um, these modules I'm really gonna miss, you could move modules to where you wanted them to, in this new design, though, which I'll go ahead and show you guys, since this is going to be mandatory anyway, unless Google makes a shocking announcement saying that they're not going to uh, change the channel designs over, which I'm pretty sure that they're not going to stop. I'll be if, if Google actually does, does stop, I'll be like, wow, Google, you finally did something right, you know? Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and click here to try the new channel's design. And uh, so yeah, this is what the new channel's design looks like. Alright, uh, just had to make sure I paused my feature video. So yeah, this is your channel info box, which I probably would have much rather had on the left side than the right. Not to mention, you can't exactly have, but like, I believe it was 1,000 to 1,200 characters 
in this about me info box, which is way too small, way too small. Um, I forget how many characters you got to have on the channels 2. Point, excuse me. I forget how many characters you could have on the channels 2.0, but I know it was quite a lot, a lot more than what you could put here in this one. Um, you've got your things. If you if your uh, channel is linked through, through Facebook and Twitter, then they'll display right here if you want them to show. So all you got to do is click them, and you'll go to your Facebook Twitter profile. Um, you've got your things right here. You can. Uh, I'll go ahead and go to. Uh, edit channel for a sec. Yeah, you can... Well, I thought it was gonna pop up. Uh, yeah, you see, you can box people still, but the only problem with this is that the way they have it set up right now, you have to remove everybody just to sort out which ones you want where. Like, if you want to put somebody up top, you would have to remove everybody, pretty much, just about, and put in the next person and put in the others that you removed, which I think is quite stupid. Uh, the other cool channels, and it's like another box. Uh, you still can box only up to 16 people, I believe. Uh, either way, right in here. So yeah, so this is the featured video section, which I'll go ahead and, and mention about the edit my channel. Um, this is the appearance. You've got your channel's version, which I'm sure that button will disappear. Uh, in the next few hours, um, considering people, those that are on the new channel's design currently will be stuck there, and for people that are on the old 2.0 design, or our current design, I should say, will be converted to the new one by default, and will have no say in the matter. Um, background, choose the color, that's not, well, I'm just going to, uh, test it out anyway, um, except... And what? That's what it does? Oh, no. I'm not gonna do that. Cancel. Alright, edit channel. And for partners, because I am a machine, I'm a partner. But for a YouTube partner, you lose a lot of features that were on the 2.0 channel's design that are not on the 3.0 channel's design. Sure, you've still got your channel banner that, of course, partners have. Uh, like, you can put how you how much you want it down like um zero I'll go ahead and display it and you see that basically moves my ba my banner yeah that way um put it back to 150 uh so yeah so you've got your featured thing of course um your feed tab which, this is your activity, this is basically your new bulletins, as you'd want to, as they'd want to call it. Uh, you just type in some stuff, so like, whenever, uh, so like, the last thing I typed was Final Fantasy 13 2 Part 12 is uploading and should be up around 8.30pm Eastern or so. Well, basically, when I enter that and I hit post, then when people go to their home page that they're subscribed to me, they will see that post on their home page that I posted, which on the channels 1.0, the older and the first YouTube channel's design, um, the bulletins used to be, like, right in here on the lower left side of the screen, about, like, in the middle or so, I'd say. Um, I don't have a screen cap of the old channel's design of back from 1.0. I'm pretty sure you can find it somewhere on this site uh, of somebody that's uploaded a video of that old channel's design. But, uh, yeah, that was a massive change to the 2.0 beta, but I'll get it more into that in a second. But, yeah, so this is your your bulletin feed that will be posted to your uh, subscribers. Uh, you can also add a YouTube video link uh, optional that you can feature with your bulletin post. Um, you can go to your videos, which I don't like. This is one of the things I don't like. You have to click on a separate tab just to get to your videos. Um, which as you see playlist so you can it'll show whatever playlist you you've made uh, the events is something that will show all of the live events that you've done the, the live streaming so if you've set it to record your live stream and you get done with the live stream then it'll process the video and post it to your channel and of course that will appear under your events section and so I just think that this new channel design is bland it's just bland uh, I'm I'm sorry, it's just planned, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on that. Um, edit channel. And I'll go ahead and show you guys more about this. Uh, I have not figured out how to do the image map coding with the new channel's design because the 
new channels design here. The banner is combined into the background. You make the banner into the background now, and you upload the whole background to your uh, channel. So for those of you guys that are a partner, you have to make the banner into the background. You don't separate the banner from the background and like upload your banner to image maps and uh, then upload the banner and then put the, the coding you know, into the thing. Um, I'm not sure if you can upload the entire background with the banner to image maps and get the coding that way. I don't think so because I think it would be too large for them to support. So yeah, I haven't figured out how to do it with the new channels design uh, since because it's combined into one image. Um, info settings, this is, yeah, you can put your, uh, title, like, what do you want to appear here? Uh, you can put in your description, which basically is the same thing as your channel info. Uh, your tags, so that people can find your channel through the tags. Uh, visibility, you can still hide and, uh, unhide your channel, so if you uncheck that, then when people go to your channel, it'll say this channel's not available. Um, always take subscribed users to the feed tab, so if a person subscribes to you and they go to check out your channel, then they're going to be taken to your feed tab right away, so they'll see your bulletins that you've posted uh, right away, and if you've uploaded a video, if you posted that you uploaded a video, which, well, the majority of the time will post your bulletin anyway, unless you've taken off that sharing check mark to do that. You can put the default tab so that when people, so when all users go to your channel, if you've selected like videos tab, then whenever people go to your channel, they will be taken immediately to your videos tab that will display all the videos you've uploaded. Uh, featured tab will take you to the this one, the featured tab section, and uh, feed tab, which will take you to the feed tab. So unlike this one, it will take all users to your feed tab instead of just subscribed ones. Um, your advanced, your redirect URL, uh, conditional redirections, things like that, more advanced stuff, which I'm not going to get into in this video. Uh, featured tab, you can disable your featured tab, which will, of course, take away your featured thing and will just display your feed or your uh, videos. And so, yeah, um, so let's put that back. Oh, I want to keep that. Uh, creator, a featured video from a playlist with a group of featured playlist, which as you see, it, it, well, I, I'm, I'm just, <sighs> this is horrible, 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 and I'm sure some people will leave YouTube over this, uh, I, I've already seen some people leave YouTube because of this change, and, uh, of course, I'm not going to leave, but it's still a big disaster that YouTube's uh, doing. Uh, blogger or reverse chronological vlog role of a featured playlist or your recent activity, which I like a little bit more. You can display your uploaded videos here. Uh, you still got your cool ch channel. Well, you can name it what you want. I just named it cool channels. You can have up to 16 people, the same as on the old channel design, I believe. Uh, well, I know on the old channels it's 16, but I think you can have 16 on the new one in the box. Um, network a featured video from a playlist with a group of featured channels. So you got like two different sets of boxes here, which like a, the new box I hate because under their current thing that they've got, if you wanted to put somebody like at the top of your box, uh, on this side anyway, you would have to remove people and then put, you know, up to that point where you want to put them in and then put them in and then put whoever else you removed in the box, you know, wherever you want them. This one, you can customize them in any order that you want. You can click and move them any way you want to. Um, everything, a featured video from a playlist with a group of featured playlists and channels, which you see just featured playlists, which I think is stupid. Um, then your shows that you have, which I kind of like. Um... And then finally, live broadcaster, a featured live event with a comments module and events module. So, yeah, it shows completed whatever live streams you've completed and set to post on your channel whenever you finished. Um, we'll display right in here, which, you've, which as you see, I've completed a Mario Kart 7 live stream. And uh, so, yeah, that's basically the new channel's design in a nutshell. The mobile settings, I don't use the mobile channel banner, landscape banner. Uh, so, yeah, I don't use any of that. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the new design in a nutshell. Switch back to the old channel's design. 
just until they're forced. Okay, so... What I want to know from you guys, though, is do you like the new channel's design or do you don't like do you, or do you like the current channel's design better uh the youtube channel's design which as i'll go ahead and briefly mention uh as you see here the channel's 2.0 beta was uh announced and the all user channels that still using the 1.0 on september 30th were switched to the new one and all partners all youtube partners on october 14th and this is not all channels were switched over instantly it took about like a week or two after the migration started to complete converting all remaining channels and of course they addressed some items and they also fixed some things about the the 2.0 channels design that were in beta that people wanted to you know get resolved and addressed with the new 2.0 design and then uh so yes yeah, so like they had like a link that's basically people had it spread around i guess like you had to get it a certain way or something and when you clicked on it you were taken to well as you see this well it looked a s tiny bit different in the beta design but it was still basically the same thing uh you had your videos displayed here uh your featured thing here of course um your cool thing that i like the the for partners the uh the man uh I'm recording this video now I'm forgetting the uh, yeah the branding box and uh, it's sad to see this all go but I want to get so we've been using this channel 2.0 for several years now um about what two and a half years or so and so yeah so now the channel 3.0 design is upon us and i want to get your guys take some what you guys think about the new channel 3.0 design do you like this one better the 2.0 design or the new 3.0 design better let me know in the comments below and i'd also like to know a little bit of a vote here with the likes and dislikes which is the first time i've even involved the dislikes in any of my videos considering well since the likes and dislikes have been an option uh for the last year and a half or so um, but what I want you guys to do with a vote is, and you don't have to do this but one time, if you like the new channel's design, give this video a like. If you don't like the new channel's design, then give this video a thumbs down, a dislike, and uh, this is optional, but if you can tell me what you like about the current channel design that you don't like about the new channel's design or what you like about the new channel's design that you don't like about the current one, the 2.0, uh, let me know. Or, you know, what do you like in be between the new design and the old one? I mean, just let me know. What are your feedback with this? But the fact that Google slash YouTube will not listen. Well, it's really Google. YouTube has... N not really any control over what happens because Google bought out YouTube back in uh, two th mid-06, I believe, or 06, 07. Um, so yeah, so since Google bought out YouTube, it's really been about Google making all of these decisions. I mean, sure, they have to run advertisements to make money off, you know, on the site of the videos that are running advertisements, and it keeps the site running. But now it's just all about advertisements. It's not about you anymore. It's about Google Tube. It's about Google themselves and the big partners that make all this money for YouTube slash Google. And you know who I'm talking about. The big number, the top five YouTube partners on the site that make just all this money from YouTube. It's all about, it's all about their tube. You know, it's not about us anymore. They've taken away the user-friendly options. They've taken away a lot of the user-friendliness that we have in the current 2.0 channels design that is not in the 3.0 channels design. Um, and, you know, when the channels 2.0 design came out, of course, some people didn't like that either. They, you know, they were like, don't change the channels. And, you know, people could be the same way with 3.0. Don't change the channels. And then all of a sudden, people will get used to it eventually. Well, that kind of may be true, but the 3.0 channel's design is not about user-friendliness. At least 2.0 had user-friendliness with it. 3.0 is nothing but gray slabs of nothing but pure ugliness. And, uh, yeah, it's just about ugliness. And as one person said, we're all ugly. 
in a sense that our channels are nothing but grayness, no hardly any customization we just have our background and banner that we can still customize to make our channels look good but outside of that our channels are nothing but just pure ugliness of gray just nothing but pure utter destruction uh so yeah so let me guys know what you guys think about the whole design thing it's sad though to see this thing happen and uh, sorry this video had to be a little bit long I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the new channels designed for those that haven't seen it which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have since that thing's been up there for the last few weeks although it was March 1st but then a few weeks ago YouTube changed it to March 7th I'm guessing because they had to change some things maybe or get something ready to convert all the channels so yeah, just a few more hours are upon us until everybody has switched the new design. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Dislike if you don't like it. Like if you like the new design. And let me know if you guys want to what you guys like between the two designs or that you don't like. I don't know. I'm getting myself mixed up. Just let me know your feedback on it. And, uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do. So, I guess that's it. So I'm Zephyr Sonic, and thank you... It's so much for watching, even if this was a little bit long of a video for you guys to bear, considering this is a horrible change, in my opinion. Um, for those of you guys that do leave comments about what you guys like about the new channel's design and the old channel's design, try not to have a fight amongst yourselves in the comments, like, oh, you love the new channel design, you suck, you know, blah, blah, blah. Please don't start that, just because I want to have an honest opinion of everybody that loves the new channel design or don't like the new channel's design. I want there to be some sort of a conversation going on in the comments, but a friendly conversation. You know, like, oh, you like I said, you love the new channel's design, you suck, you don't like the new channel's design, what's wrong with you? You know, but please, none of that. I just want to know what you guys think. Um, I personally, I mean, one man's opinion is one man's, one man's opinion, it, you know, that doesn't go for what everybody else thinks, but a lot of people don't like this new design. Um, so, but even if you do, don't feel like you're an outcast, you know, because you like the new channel's design, and a lot don't, you know, don't feel like you're hated, just, uh, it's just an expression of opinion, you know, I mean, it matters a lot, so, yeah, let me know your opinion, and I will, uh, see you guys next time.